Hello, welcome. My name is Chris Watmore, Intelligent Automation Leader here at RSM, here to talk to you a little bit about robotic process automation and how it could help save your company time and, and make you more agile as an organization. So let's get right into it. What is RPA? So, so RPA basically is it's a piece of software that allows you to automate repeatable computer based tasks. There is no physical robot. It's not like industrial robotics where there's robots with arms and whatnot. It is really just software that works on top of a either a physical or a virtual machine. It's very quick to deploy. You can get bots up and running in as little as two to three weeks. And basically what you, you're able to do is you're able to almost like build a macro. You can go and record your steps and then look at the steps within the tool and basically build instructions for a bot to actually do a repetitive process, uh, such as invoice processing. You know, you receive an invoice, you read the invoice, you enter it into your GL system and send it off for approval, right? Same, you know, steps, you know, time after time after time. Well, instead of having a human do it, you know, you can actually build a bot to do this type of work, freeing up your human employees to do higher value activity. So where do we use this this technology? Well, like I said, it has to be very, very rule-based. It has to be very repetitive. It has to follow a certain set of rules. You can't have any sort of intuition into the process. You want things that are highly operational, right? Things that are going to have a good impact, you know, but are generally rule-based, right? Or have some sort of programmable logic. We want high volume. We also want to limit the number of applications that a bot uses. Um, the more applications, the greater the chance for the bot to fail because of an upgrade or something happening within the environment. Environment. Very scalable, very, very repeatable, but ideally it's processes that are very, very repeatable happen, you know, mul either multiple times a day or multiple times a week and add up to, you know, hundreds of hours over the course of a year. So let's take a quick look at, at one of the tools here. Uh, you know, there are a number of tools out there. Um, today we're going to show you Automation Anywhere, which is a, a cloud-based RPA tool. Um, as you can see here, um, they're going to talk a little bit about, you know, very, very quickly logging in, clicking and automating. OK, so you go through a URL, you log into what's called the control room, which is more, more like your master dashboard of your bots and where you go to build your bots. From there, uh, you're give, you get to the developer screen and it's very easy. You can drag and drop commands. Uh, you can either search for them or if you know where they are, you can just drag it in. Adds a little bit of um, information to the, the individual instruction or command and keep on building your bot. Alternatively, they're not going to show it today, but there's also a recording capability. So you can actually press record and it'll go through uh, as you're actually doing the process and record all the steps as well. But, you know, the idea is that this is a very, very easy way to sort of start to build your pro uh, build an automation. You're not done there, though. Uh, you do need to add a lot of a lot of logic and exception reporting. Uh, you know, what, what do you want it to do if the website's down, for example, or it can't log in or it needs a password change, all those sort of exception things. And it takes a little bit of time and energy to sort of start building that out. But, you know, very, very basically, um, you know, you can log in, you can hit record, you can record all the steps and you can see the instructions uh, to, to build your bot. So what does this look like in NetSuite? So we've built a, a couple bots for, for NetSuite, and this particular one uh, processes bills, processes invoices, right? So uh, what we've done is we've used uh, a tool called IQBot to extract the data out of an invoice and drop it into a CSV file. So here's the line item details for this particular bill uh, from that PO, um, PO000023, all right, and then 00036. Um, so we're able to sort of extract all the data out of an invoice uh, and put it into a CSV file that we can then use by from a bot to actually get it into NetSuite. So here's the actual uh, instructions that we've built um, to work with NetSuite, to log in, to loop through the line items. And here's the other view. Um, this is more of sort of a straight sort of instruction view. And if you look at this very, very clear, carefully, you can notice that it's not hard. You don't need to be a coder to do this, but you do need to know some basic sort of computer logic, if you will. So we're going to go ahead and run this bot real quickly and show you how it actually integrates in, and works with NetSuite itself. And this is directly through the front end. We can also use APIs, uh, database calls. But uh, in this case, we're going to log in through the, through the website, through NetSuite. Um, and we're going to go ahead and look up a PO to process. So we're going to type in that PO. It's going to come up. We can see that it was approved. We're going to go ahead and start entering uh, data against this that these POs. So, um, 
So we went to the second PO. We noticed that that one's still open. Now we're going to go down and actually enter in the line items. Um, you within the, the folder, we've entered the document date, we've entered all the information from it, uh, and then we started processing it. So, uh, and that's how it works with NetSuite. So, really interesting technology. Uh, feel free to uh, contact us if you have any questions along the way about this innovative new technology. It's been around for a number of years, but it's really coming to the middle market, and we're starting to see a lot of it with NetSuite. So, appreciate your time today and have a great one.